Uh, okay, friends, let's solve the arithmetic uh, slice two problem. A sequence of numbers called arithmetic if it consists of at least three elements and if the distance between any two consecutive elements is the same. So in this problem, uh, we need to count the subsequence that are the arithmetic slices. In the previous question, they must be consecutive, but in this question, they don't need to be. So in this case, you will see the 2, 6, 10 is also uh, counted. So let's see this example. Uh, we will also use dynamic programming to solve this question. But uh, the question is how do we use the dynamic programming to catch the previous uh, count? Mm. Well, we will use a DP array. It's also a 2D array. So what does this 2D array mean? We will let the IJ means the total number of the arithmetic slices ended with the I and J. So what do I mean? So in this case, if you have the 2, 1, which means the index of the number. So uh, the DP2 represents 6. This 2 means the 6, and this 1 means the 4. This is the index. Uh, and uh, it will, as uh, this is 6 and 4, so we need to find the 2 times 4 minus 6, which means we need to find the 2 to uh, make to make up uh, arithmetic slices. And then we find the, the two in our map. So we will use the number of the sli arithmetic slices ended with the two, four and the two, and the plus one. Once we have uh, like uh, this one, we, we made another, we can make up another arithmetic Arithmetic uh, slices. We just uh, actually uh, make one more. Like uh, this four two, they can consist of uh, non non arithmetic slices. So we then we can add uh, one. In this case, we we can make up the two four six as a uh, arithmetic slices. So in this case, is one. The same idea. If this uh, 3, 2, we ended with the 6 and 8, and we use the uh, 8, 2, plus 1. In this case, we, can, we already can make up one arithmetic slices, so we add 1. So in this case, we can make up 2. So this like is the 4, 6, 8, and the uh, 1, of uh, two, four, six, eight. And every time we will accumulate uh, these uh, uh, counts. So uh, I forgot to mention this map. As uh, in this case, we may have the same number. So we need to save their index for the um, lookup. Like uh, if we have the Last two elements, we want to find the first element to consist of the arithmetic uh, which has the three numbers. We can use a hash map to uh, quickly look up if we already contain this number. So basically, this is the idea. Uh, hoping you can understand my poor English. So let's uh, code. And I said we need the to calculate, uh, we, we need the number of the uh, array and we need a 2D array which is uh, the size should be n n and also we need a map but we should pay attention to that the key should be long because as we want to get the first uh, element we use the second element times 2 minus the third element so it may cause overflow 
So we will use long, and uh, we will use a list to save the index map, new hash map. So for every element less than an I++. So we'll put if absent. Then we will convert the into long new array list. OK, and the map get. Do not forget to convert that to long. I add the current index i. OK, we need a current the result, which is the total number of the arithmetic subsequence slices. So for int i equal to 0, i less than an i plus plus. This i means the third element. And the j equal to 0, j less than i, because j means the second element, j plus plus. OK, so now we will get the target number. The target number should be the 2 times the aj minus ai. This is the first element we need. So if the map contains key, the target. OK, if we have this number in our map for every index, right? So for the k in the map, get the target. Uh, OK, so um, if the k less than the j, we know we can make up uh, arithmetic uh, slices. So dp i j will equal to the dp j k plus 1. So this means the total number of the arithmetics we can make up ended with the number k and the number j. This is the number j and the number i. And uh, for every ij, we will uh, sum up the dpij to our final result. And finally, we'll just return this result. OK, thank you for watching. I think if you uh, cannot understand, uh, you, you may draw the table to see what does this uh, DPIJ mean and uh, how it uh, can uh, cache the total numbers. Okay, see you next time.